everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Fixed World Domination on the Iceland map. These are some of my favorite pet settings, and I'm going to offer red and orange people to go before me in Alliance right off the bat. Now, as you will notice, this is a very small map. It's the third smallest map in all of Risk, and we are just simply straight up doing World Domination Fixed, okay? It's Novice to Grandmaster. So anything is possible. Orange here is General Hayakawa. And let's see what they come up with. So nobody ever spawns with ones on this map. You only have like two or three territories when you spawn in. So what often happens is people make a big mistake on turn one. They punch something. He's going for the four. He's actually going for a bonus turn one. If he punches this four, he's going to get the four point bonus. <laughs> Can you take a bonus? Now this blizzard... Doesn't he's still going? He's still going. This blizzard doesn't necessarily make it a honeypot because this square reaches around. So you actually have to still defend three places. And they do let people break, and somebody should, or he's going to get the four point bonus. Because on this map, there's a plus two, plus three, plus four, plus five. But the plus four, for whatever reason, seems to be what most people go for. 48 has the red troops, and he goes straight into white. <laughs> Let's get blasting, baby! This is what it's all about. Now, I need to be very, very cautious with how I arrange my troops here. Um, so white, black. Ah, I actually wanted to use that square. I do want to fortify through here. I want black to have a tough choice as to where they are going to hit. Yes, yes, yes. So my main goal here is to make myself unattractive for black to want to hit me. Well, I guess simultaneously setting up to be able to kill black. Um... But here's how I'm going to do it. No, I'm going to actually give black a card. That being said, now I just completely give black a card. So I use this opportunity to make an alliance with them, seeing as how I've been so nice. And then I'm going to stack up behind you. White here. Thank you, black. I, I gave you a card. You should be very happy. Audio Go Axel has the white troops. They should break the bonus. You should not allow people to hold bonuses on this map. Good. And I think Orange understood this. This is why they did go back. You can't let people hold the bonuses. It's just, it's too powerful. <laughs> well done. Now, Orange, please destroy White for, you know, their whatever nonsense. They broke your bonus. Just destroy him, okay? Tata Toothy has Black. I offered them a one and, you know, permanent friendship. Both of which can really go a long way. So they can get an easy card. Let's see where they decide to keep their stack. Hopefully they do keep it up here, because then everybody is boxed in and we'll have to hit some bigger numbers. The games can go fast if you can convince people to hit some big numbers. And in pink, we got General Hamasaki. And let's see what they are going to come up with. They get the, the six extra troops. This square is, in general, very good. Nortingo Sizel. It's one of the best squares on the map. Just gives you generally good access all in all. Um, I don't, there's not like a Ukraine of the map, but this is just kind of a, a good generalized square. If you get to hold this, uh, I would take it. If I get the ability to somehow get my nine there, it's just great. You'd be able to keep a line on white, keeping a line on orange. You have an, a line on black. Uh, so I think you should always go here, but pink is actually going to go for this bonus. So now I'm scared if I'm orange, and I'm probably popping out and running away, <laughs> to be honest, because pink might fight for it. For whatever reason... This is the bonus that everybody kind of fights for. This is this is the Australia of the map. It's the two, two plus two, but everybody fights for the plus four. When somebody takes a bonus, it's almost always um, in this area. Orange manages to get a card and migrates the five stack down. So red doesn't have too many good options, but he's got a couple ones that he can hit in here. He's adding into here. I wonder, I just, I want to just assume that he's not going for this bonus. It's very important too to try to identify the strengths of your opponents, as it always is. This map is no exception there. And I have an interesting opportunity. I actually can get one very, very, very big stack, if that's what I want to do, which is generally a very good idea. But where would I want said stack? I probably want it over here in this area. Um... White, white has another card. Red, red has another card, too. I'm going to try to take this centralized square and hope that I don't blunder any troops here. Because I'm going to leave a three here. But these guys, you're coming with me. Let's try to get a little bit closer to the center of the map. 
so that we have um, a greater opportunity to make some kills later on should those opportunities arise. And I'm kind of a blockade here, not letting people through. Let's see if we can do this. I'm not exactly sure where I get my next card. That's up to my, my good friends here to give me a card. I've been nice to, to most of them so far. Let's see if I have an easy card or not on my next turn. But I wasn't going to get easy cards if I stayed buried down below in here. Okay, so black. Let's see. So white and I are going with the biggest stacks. Black has a similar opportunity. They can start to merge these. But I'm going to intentionally not let black merge his two biggest positions together, if possible. Pink is split into two places. And I think they are going to go for this bonus. This is the one that people like to fight for. I think they're going to go for this at some moment. Okay. Let's see what orange does. Um, orange could give me a card by taking something here. But my, uh, my options are going to be maybe limited on my next turn. Yes. So now he rolls this. So now this should present me with a card. Cool. Hopefully the four stays there. Otherwise, he should realize that I'm going to have to punch his four. And I guess I will. So stay there. Good. Okay. So I do get a card. That's very nice. Red has ones to hit. Let's see. Uh, he's adding two down there. Let's see if he combines these stacks together. In general... Around turn four or five or so, that's when a lot of the uh, the killing starts to happen. <laughs> so that's when you really want to have um, a giant stack, if possible. So let's make this our turn and go here. Just consolidating all of my troops into one position. But this is actually a very interesting game. So it, it appears, based on having played... Um, a lot of Iceland fix lately. When I first started playing this, it was all noobs. And it still kind of is in a way. But people have actually kind of learned how to play these settings. It's not people just slamming into each other anymore. It's not people just wiling out and going nuts. It feels like people have actually learned how to play these settings, which is remarkable. Am I that powerful? I don't, I don't feel like I'm that powerful. But maybe I am. I have published quite a few games on these settings. But people have seemed to have relaxed. Because it was, I mean, the first 10 games I played or so on this before I was publishing videos, it was all just noobs slamming into noobs. Every game was a 10-minute game. But we are seeing the meta on Iceland Fixed kind of change over time. Ooh, going for a kill, are we? Okay. I do probably want to migrate over here. Orange and pink are going to be the weaker ones. Orange turns in. If you're adding here, that means I guess you're going into pink. Or you're running away. But we need to begin contemplating who we are going to try to go into here. Orange takes one of my favorite squares. But nobody is really, really messing up too bad. Okay. If I do leave a stack here, though, I am kind of trying to trap orange against pink in here. So if I'm allowed, I'm actually going to move over to High Granese Sisal. Um, I don't know. Or do I want to keep a line on white? Hmm. Let's see what red comes up with first. Okay. Yeah, red's chillin'. I don't know. Where I am is great, but black at some point could come here. I think I'm gonna chill where I am. I think I'm in a fine position. So I'm gonna get my card here, and then I'm gonna bring this back. Because from the moment, I actually have lines kinda everywhere. I even have a line on white, because I could pop this, come through here to get to white. I have a line on black, because I can sweep through. It's a bunch of splits. It's a little bit harder for me to get to pink, but I think pink and orange are going to get into it. And so if orange ends up really weak, I have some line through this white four and into here. And I have some line on red. Red is very big. How does he have 40 troops, man? That guy is huge, but he's not aiming at me. He's only aiming at black, which is very friendly. 
So if I'm black, I'm not opening red up. <laughs> red is too strong. So yeah, I like that. Yeah, people are playing this really well today. Pink has a turn in. He, they get the eight trade. Let's see if they're uh, they're about to go nuts on orange. It's very interesting the way pink played, because they removed orange from this section. Hmm. Now I don't feel like I have an amazing card to take. If I take here, I lose my connection to a lot of people. And if I take here, I lose my connection to this whole side of the board. Aha. Uh -huh. So orange takes their only card, which was off of white. So white is now very killable. If I killed white, I would get a trade in. That being said, white has 21 troops, so it is expensive to kill white. What does white do with a trade in? Actually, I don't have a trade in. I think I need to kill white. Otherwise, white might turn in and kill me. It's very expensive. I'm going to be weaker after I kill white than I am right now. So I don't like it. But I don't like on this board. I don't like holding. With white looking right at me. I don't like holding troops. Hmm. I'm in a tough position, honestly. Red, I think, is just setting up to kill black. I, I don't like this. But I will do it. I only lose 11! Oh, wait. No, I love it. <laughs> That's an amazing play. Now I double set. Wait, can I go? Is there any way to go even more nuts? This is, this is humongous. Holy cow. Wait a minute. What the heck? Um, wait, this worked out tremendously well. <laughs> okay, we're not killing black or anything. Okay, this is the conclusion of my turn. And I'm gonna stay where I am. Wait, that was so good. I've never had dice like that. My my dice are a little more blessed on this map. <laughs> but I felt the need to make that kill. Now, I could have lost like 10 more troops. I guess this would be like a 29 or something. But that worked out really well. The double, the double trade, it really hooked me up. So are black and red getting into a little bit of a feud here? I think that black and red are gonna fight, and I think that orange and pink are kinda gonna fight. Just based on the way people have positioned their stacks. Okay. Seems like a fair square to get a card. If you are trying to kill red, it's a little sneakier. Because <laughs> these 21s are kind of only aimed at each other. Red is aiming at black. So black, it feels like he's hiding some stacks. Like here's a 9 that's going to be difficult for red to kill. It feels like they're just trying to make it difficult for other people to kill them, which is kind of the name of the game. Aha. Uh -huh. You're not going to get this kill. For two cards? Oh, pink is making a big mistake here. Okay, they don't, they don't go 24 on 25. But they are heavily insisting on this bonus. Let me double check my cards here real quick. No trade-in. Let's see how orange responds. I bet orange runs out of this bonus now. Pink is heavily insisting on it. So let's see what they do. Are they going to do some weird splitting? That wouldn't make any sense. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. They continue to insist on this position. Cool. Those two are going to get into it at some moment. It would be nice to get pink out of here. But I'm not sure I'm the one that's going to do it. Okay. Where do I want to get my card? So this is my, if these two ones, I'm, I just really don't want to hit here. So I'm going to take my card here. And I think I'm going to bring this other three back in now. Because maybe I can use this to get my next card. I'm not entirely sure. I have four cards now, but I'm sitting on 45 troops. Nobody is able to kill me. The weakest player right now is Orange. They're not that weak. Hmm. Ah! <laughs> I dropped my Rook. 
I gave up chess a while ago, but I'm still dropping pieces. Black gets a card. Does this open the 39 to do anything evil? Red still can't kill black, and black still can't kill red. But if red is only aimed at black, I guess black, this is good for black to open them up to be able to at least have a line on me. So that red can't argue I'm only attacking you. I removed all of pink from here. It might open up an opportunity for orange to kill pink, but I'm not sure that that's what I want them to have. We, uh, we've slowed down. This is interesting. Does orange have a turn in? Yes. Do they punch? <laughs> no. They take a card. And they continue to insist on this bonus. Okay. This might even be more accurate. Because if somebody comes over the top... Oh. Are they now going to run away? No. No. They double attack pink. I don't know why. Maybe just to be more threatening. Red turns in for 10. They could maybe theoretically kill me, but it would be the worst move of all time. So they are going to close this stack to me, which is great. If they go this way. It's not great if they go this way. If they go this way, we get scared. Ah, okay, so they are, I guess, going to go for this bonus. Have we reached the phase where it is time to go for a bonus? And do I go for this plus two over here? Hmm. So red, I think, is going to go for this. Unless I trap black in here. We could block red in a little bit. I think that's an interesting play. I don't know that it's any good. But it is kind of an interesting play. <laughs> Trapping black in there. I'll be a little combative here. I'm gonna leave a 13 stack. As if I'm going I'm going for this bonus over here. I should maybe try. Maybe if when you settle down this much, it actually might become a, a bonus game here at some point. Let's see what black does. They can't have liked my last move. Because red is going for the plus three. And I've just trapped the I've trapped black in. So if black goes here, though, and, and chills, red doesn't have an easy card, but they're going to hit the black eight, maybe, to get the bonus. So I'm really hoping that black chills here, because I think this is very good for me. Because red's card is the eight. I don't think black should do this, but I like this for me. So wonderful. Pink has three cards. Taking this bonus now and removing pink could be highly beneficial to me. Because then pink and orange are going to be stuck on the right side. Duking it out. Okay. Pink finally gets out of the bonus. And just hits orange a lot. No, they just hit each other a lot. <laughs> and now it goes back into the bonus. In order to aggress orange. Okay. Orange cannot kill pink. Not that it would be a good idea to do so. <sighs> Removing pink actually would be interesting, because if orange and pink smashed each other, then it would go red, but red wouldn't have a line to get back here and make these kills, and I would. So if orange and pink eliminate each other in some order, I think I actually might be the one that gets those kills. Red hits the eight? Yeah, 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 yeah. Beautiful. I've offered an alliance to 48, but they have not accepted my alliance at this moment. Okay. Cool. And they do back off a little bit. I wonder if black is going to hit them. Black's kind of playing with fire if they do. Black says attack red. I'm going to wait one turn. <laughs> I am going to wait one turn to see if black does it naturally and if this causes a war between these two. Because it's, it's very difficult to get the bonuses. It can be very difficult. I'm not even sure that black wants me to break them. Because then again, where's red's easiest card? It's going to be like over here. 
But we shouldn't let people hold bonuses on this map. You do make a solid point, Black. You do make a solid point. There's no bonuses in Iceland, okay? So Black knows that they should break, but that's going to make Red mad, and then Red might end their game. Let's see if they got the guts. No, no, no. Okay. So we are going to let Red hold, huh? Interesting. Where's he going to put that? And he lets Red come through, and he completely runs away. Okay, so Red gets to keep this bonus. Hmm. I should have broken Red and worked with Black. I think that would have been a better play. But Black now is in my bonus. So I think either... <laughs> uh. Hmm. Either I have to break red or I need to get my own plus two bonus. Probably is how it goes. Because it'll be interesting. If he gets plus three every turn, we'll see how it goes. I, also, I got my dad ears on. We should break him, though. We should break him. Black's going to take a card here. Or Sorry, red's going to take a card here. I want to trap this guy in. Honestly, you can almost have a plus three bonus if you're trapped in. But Black was in a dangerous position there. Orange maybe is about to bot out. Doesn't want to continue to just go punch, punch, and then stack back here and, and do this fake war that they got going on. Okay, so I guess we're losing Orange now. We actually played a game of Iceland that lasted so long that somebody decided to bot out. That's kind of wild. <laughs> Normally the game, he's like, what the heck? Back in the day, this would have been two games. So plus six for red. Hmm. I don't think black will actually help me fight red. Hmm. Okay. Attack red. Yes or no? Okay. Attack red. Let's see if they get involved. Just attack red. <laughs> Let's attack red together. Just at least come down and leave a giant stack here or something. I'm just going to insist that they attack red. <laughs> it's just it's just something I would like to insist that you do. Cool. Cool. I appreciate that. <laughs> cool. Uh, so this, I think, demonstrates that we actually can work with black, although black is obviously being very cautious in this situation. Red does have a line on me. So this can be risky. Don't know why Pink is uh, thinking they're going to be getting cards on this side of the map the way that they've done this. I think if I were Pink, I'd take a card here, and I would run away from this bot, because the bot might roll a, they might roll this, and in which case you're in a lot of trouble. So Pink didn't set themselves up to get a card, even though they had a one to hit. So my move would have been to take a card and then run as far away from this bot as possible. Let's see if the bot destroys Pink. And if so, Red will be able to make this, this kill on Pink if they want the two cards. If Pink gets knocked out of here. Let's see if the bot hits the 34. Avoids the 34 for now. So removing Pink <laughs> it would be very detrimental to them, wouldn't it? Knocking Pink out of this side of the board would be kind of wild. Let's see how Red responds to us breaking his bonus. Is he actually like, does he care about the bonus? Let's see. The bot here actually shields me too from Red being able to attack me. Looks like they are going to try to take this. No, okay, cool. So he doesn't really care about the bonus, which is good to see. Um. Man, we can really destroy 
hit Binks game here. Which is funniest. Let's remove pink from there, so that they uh, their game gets destroyed. They now are stuck fighting against orange bot, and I don't think they'll ever be able to retaliate against me. Now black and I can handle trading cards in here. We can continue to trade in this two point bonus. They turn in and they get 10, so they're up to 66 troops. I've never seen so many troops on Iceland before. It's actually kind of remarkable. Um, I'm also going to be placing probably my breakfast order. Are we getting breakfast? Sorry, very important text. Do you want food? Yes. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> yep, I do. I tried to sneak up and sneak out and, and play some risk before the kids woke up today. But, uh, yeah, pink. Poor pink. It has to smash. <laughs> okay, so orange orange and pink are now killable for five cards. If orange doesn't trade in, I'm actually curious in, in killing orange and pink. But I tried to wake up so that I could record some games um, before children woke up. But as usual, I kind of failed sneaking out. I, I feel like a, a, a criminal. I try to sneak out <laughs> of my own house, sneak downstairs, play some risk for the day. Red could take the kills on orange and pink now, if they wanted to. Adding here, eliminate orange, get four, eliminate pink, get three. They might do just this, and then they're able to get that bonus on the other side of the board. Oh, and they also have a direct light on pink. Oh, poor pink. Oh, they did this very poorly because they just gave red a free kill right there. But they're not going for orange. I think I'll take it. Red, I guess, doesn't want to be a friend. 48. Not my friend. Because this is the four-point bonus, which you can kind of realistically hold. Okay. So I will take this. And for now, I'm, I'm actually just... I think I'm going to migrate over there. Attack red. Okay. Attack red. I've done my part. It's uh, The rest is on you. Attack red. Last time... <laughs> Last time we did this, you did come through and help. So I do think I can trust black. So I think instead of playing a bonus game, let's just play to fight to the bitter death here. Red does have a trade-in. Attack red, please. Um, what did I hit of red? So I just hit a three. Would you also kindly hit a three? That would be fair and show that we can work together. If you settle down now and be like, hey, I'm just going to get this middle five-point bonus or this side two-point bonus, that's not going to work for me. You're the one that wanted to start this war with red. I am willing to help, but I want to make sure that you're, you're going to be helping as well. Okay. So for now, he does not a lot. Hi. It's up to you to break the next time. Red turns in. Red's going to recapture this bonus. It's up to you now, Black. It's up to you now. Okay, so I'll get to see on my next turn. Oh, wow. Wait, so he does let me break, but that's not what I'm going to do. It's up to Black now. Um, okay, I'll aggress red. Okay, if you want to attack red, attack red. 
He says thumbs up. It's your turn. Let's see if he does it. I take a bonus, and I, I stack directly behind red. So let's see if black actually does it. This is a very aggressive move towards red, but it's your turn to open him up. I need to make sure that we're both working together here to defeat a common enemy. We are beautiful. And now hopefully red is opened up towards black, but I can trust black and I can work with them. Cool. And I'm stronger and I get to hold a bonus and black doesn't and <laughs> all that wonderful stuff. So let's see how red handles this. Are they, they're gonna go break my bonus? That would be sensible. I'd, I'd say that's very sensible. Okay. They break the bonus. There's no bonuses and there's no bonuses in Iceland, so you know what? I think that's a very reasonable play indeed. I'm gonna add here, try to get a card here, I guess. Just put some random stack up here at the top. And see how it goes. This is a very complicated endgame. Cause in fixed, without getting bonuses. <laughs> it can be difficult to progress this game. Let's see how black plays from here. So if I take a bonus, I'll be broken, which I think is correct. We've, we've tested red, and he has succeeded. Okay, black takes a card. Cool. Wow, red's, black's going to go for the five-point bonus, maybe. Maybe not directly. Okay. That's a good square because, you know, he is aimed, he's aimed between me and between red and neither of us have a stack that can hit him. So I think that is very good, good play by black. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we're going to settle down. Are we going to take bonuses now? We can try to take bonuses. Okay. I don't want to take this square, because this gives me a line on black and also on red. Tech red? Yes or no? What would black like to do? He says yes. He loves me. Attack red. I hit a three, you hit a three. I think this is fair play. So now I should expect black to hit this three. <laughs> I insist. Attack red. Let's keep it equitable. I am bigger than black, so if black betrays me, I can, I can do stuff. Does black try to take a bonus? Okay. So black's not doing as much. He can argue that he's not quite as strong as me, so he shouldn't have to do as much as me. I was hoping he would hit the three, because that's what happened previously. But all right, red turns in. His stack is not aimed at me, so I'm more comfortable breaking red. I do need to somehow convince black to help more often. It's black's turn now. Okay. Interesting. So he's going to try to defend a little bit harder. But it's your turn. You attack red. It's your turn. <laughs> okay. I trust you. I know you'll do the right thing, black. I know you'll do the right thing. It's your turn. Let's see if they do it or not. If not, I'll try to work with red to fight against black. I'm not sure how well that'll go. Because it could work out really well. If red and I were fighting black, it could work out really well. I would need to defend these two squares, or these two squares, and I'd be able to hold against black. Cool. Okay, no, we're working with black. Cool. Yes. Cool. Okay, we are going to defeat red. 
Hey, did you guys hear about the grape that got stepped on 48 times? It didn't complain too much, but it did let out a little whine. Okay, now it's my turn to try to break this guy. Um, I guess I have to come in here. Hmm, which opens up his stack. Okay, I will break, even though he's probably got a trade in. Okay. There's no bonuses in Iceland. Red could probably get himself out of this jam by not taking bonuses anymore and just chilling out. Let's just insist that you also hit red. <laughs> just every turn. Let's just keep attacking red, please. Please don't forget your responsibility is to attack red every turn. Let's see if they do it. They might hit a five. Black is having to hit more expensive things because red, I think, is more tentative to defending against whatever I have over here. Okay. Black does nothing this turn, which is fair enough. I just, I don't like it, but it is fair enough. Now that the stack is open, is red going to go kamikaze into me? He might. He might. But the good news is now that it's it's not my responsibility to do it next time. Next turn, it's, it's Black's responsibility to break. And if he just takes softly, I might also... I might have to grab this bonus now at, at some point here. Because Black will probably let me hold this bonus. I just don't like that my stack gets completely buried if I do go here. If black bots out, this is a very nasty thing, but I should win. I think I win against black because black stack is buried against my stack and my stack is open to him. So I think I win. Otherwise, black better go hard. If red does bot out, okay, black better go hard, 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 hard into him. No, you attack red. You attack red or you're dead. That's the plan. You attack red or you die. That's the way that this goes. So let me make that very obvious to you. If you want second place, you attack red. If you choose to fight me, I have more troops than you. Plus, I probably have a turn in coming. I got four cards. So we do win this game. You need to attack red and get second place. It's up to you. The choice is yours. If they don't, I will be able to defeat Black. And this is the problem with not having your stack open. So even if the Black stack had been here instead, they would have had a line on me and this would have been much more complicated. But this is correct. Well done to Black. Well done. <laughs> and then you should try to kill Black just so that, you know, I don't have a change of heart or something. But yeah, this is correct. Ship everything you got into red. You will get second place. So, yeah, very interesting game. It was a lot more technical than normally I would expect on this map. So it is good to know that, you know, people are, are taking these much more seriously. Good game. Um, these settings are actually very fun. And I like the idea that maybe games are going to be more competitive going forward. Let me know what you think about it. Good game. Well played. And in the end, we made a real friend here with the player, with the black troops. So I hope that you did enjoy this one. Let's get to know like what people were rated. Maybe we were just playing in like, the, the all-expert lobby here or something, man. It felt like we had some very strong play out in Iceland today. We just beat in a beginner, an expert, a novice, a master, and a beginner. So that's what happens when good people play on Iceland. Make sure, let me know what you think about it. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you guys for the next video.